Hello everyone, welcome to Coin Engineer. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to use Chainlist. But before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on to not to miss out any of these amazing opportunities and important news. Now let's just jump straight into our video. So let's have a look at the description of Chainlist on the Chainlist website. Chainlist is a list of Ethereum virtual machine networks. Users can use the information to connect their wallet and Web3 middleware providers to the appropriate chain ID and network ID to connect to the correct chain. Now, as you guys know, MetaMask supports all of these networks, but in order to make transactions on these networks, you need to add a specific network to your MetaMask wallet. And before Chainlist, you would have to manually enter all of these information. Now, I'm going to show you how to manually add a network. And after that, you're going to learn how to use Chainlist. And you're going to see that using Chainlist is way easier than entering all of these into your wallet. So first, let's learn how to add a network manually. So open your MetaMask wallet. By the way, if you don't have a MetaMask wallet or don't know how to use it, you can check out our MetaMask tutorial video from the top right corner and then continue watching this video. So I clicked on my MetaMask icon and opened my wallet. So after that, just click on these three little dots and choose settings. Then scroll down and choose networks and then click on add network. After choosing add network, it will direct you to here. Then click on add a network manually. So as you can see, it asks us to type down a network name, a new RPC URL, a chain ID, a currency symbol, and a block explorer URL. You can find all of these information right now. I'm showing this information from Binance's Academy website, but you can find these information on the related networks web page. Now what you have to do is to copy all of these information and paste it here and then click on save. And after doing that, as you can see, I added Polygon mainnet just like this. So this was adding networks manually. Now let's have a look at how we can add networks using Chainlist. After opening the Chainlist website, all you have to do is to click on connect wallet and then connect your MetaMask wallet. So right now, as you can see, I connected my wallet. We can see all the main networks here, Ethereum mainnet, Arbitrum 1, Avalanche, C-Chain, and so many more. If you want, click on include test nets to see all the test nets on Chainlist 2. So I clicked on include test nets and if I scroll down, I can see all the other test nets that I can add to my MetaMask. So I already have most of these networks on my MetaMask, but let's, for example, let's add Moon River to my MetaMask. So click on add to MetaMask and then click on approve. And after clicking on approve from your MetaMask extension, as you can see, we added the Moon River network to our MetaMask wallet. Now be careful to not to add the networks that you don't know. Only add the networks that you know and you trust. And on top of this, if you have any extra questions, you can ask us in the comments down below or also in our Telegram community global channel, which you can find all the links in the description box below of this video. And that pretty much concludes our video, guys. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on to not to miss out any of these amazing opportunities and important news and with that said i will see you guys in our next videos